Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of my quick, simple meals at home. Just upscale the ingredients for two or three people. You will need only what you see on the screen for this recipe. Today, I'm sharing my tasty Japanese 7 Spice Chicken, using fresh chicken thigh quarters. Japanese 7 Spice, is a blend of 7 spices that adds a kick of heat and flavor to many dishes. It typically contains red chili pepper, cayenne pepper, roasted orange peel, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and ground ginger. In this video, I'll show you how to make your own 7 Spice Chicken at home. Japanese 7 Spice is like a spicy pepper with a slight citrus taste, making it perfect as a rub, or as a marinade base, or to sprinkle over dishes. To ensure even cooking and browning, coat the outer parts of the chicken first, then work towards the center. The middle section will take care of itself. Next, measure one cup of long grain rice and put it into the pot. Wash the rice thoroughly with water. My rice has been washed three times, and the water is clear. The next step is to flavor the rice with a tablespoon of Panang curry paste. You will need a tablespoon of this paste, which you can find in most Asian grocery stores or online. Add the paste to the rice and stir well to combine. This will give the rice a rich and spicy taste that complements the chicken and vegetables, but, be careful, it is hot and spicy. You now need to incorporate about 2 heaped teaspoons of coconut powder into the recipe. Make sure there are no lumps in the mix, and stir well using a plastic spoon. Now, combine all the dry ingredients with the wet rice and mix well until thoroughly combined. The next step is to pour one and a half cups of cold water over the rice. This will help the rice to cook evenly and absorb the flavors of the other ingredients. Mixing it well before cooking is one of the secrets to cooking fluffy and delicious rice. You can customize this dish with any vegetables you like. Give everything a good stir to ensure that the ingredients are well combined. Fish sauce is a salty and savory condiment that adds depth and flavor to many dishes. To use it in your cooking, you only need a small amount. One teaspoon of fish sauce is enough to season the rice. Remember, less is more when adding it to your cooking. The best way to cook our rice is to use a rice cooker. My Yum Asia rice cooker can automatically adjust the temperature and time to produce fluffy and delicious rice. Set the menu to long grain rice and press the start button. While you wait for the rice cooker, prepare the Ninja wood fire grill by switching it on and selecting the grill mode. There's no point in having a Ninja wood fire grill if you don't use the smoke option, so turn it on by pressing the flame button. Preheat the grill using the medium setting and wait for it to reach the desired temperature. It will tell you to add food when ready. Then, arrange the chicken on the griddle and close the lid. Grill for say 13 minutes before checking cooking temp. Don't forget the Ninja Wood Fire Grill simultaneously cooks from the top and bottom. This reduces the total cooking time considerably. So keep an eye on the internal temps of your chicken so it isn't overcooked. The temperature of our chicken is by now an optimal 170 degrees Fahrenheit. It's time to remove them from the grill and to let them rest in a warm dish. Cover with tin foil and leave in a warm place for around 10 minutes. The rice that we prepared earlier is now ready to be served. It is hot and fluffy, ready to be enjoyed with our meal. The whole process took only 30 minutes, which is quite fast and convenient. Now that we have prepared all the ingredients and cooked the main dish, it's time to bring our meal together and serve. First, we need to spoon the rice onto the plate. Make sure to use a spatula to avoid burning yourself. Finally, we must add our chicken. Garnish with herbs or spices for extra flavor and presentation. This does look nice. 
Ah, it's absolutely delicious. Now for some of the rice. Rain separated, fluffy. Mm. And the panang paste has lifted this to a whole new level. This is lovely. Fantastic folks. I can honestly recommend this. Chicken thighs, Japanese seasoning, Panang paste, curry paste with vegetables and long grain rice. That is going to be gorgeous. That's my tea. So, if you liked this video and made it this far, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your feedback and suggestions in the comments below for future videos. It will help me grow this channel and reach more people. I appreciate your time. Thank you.